Hi, I'm Rhonda Kritzings and I'm running for Tawny Town City Council in District 1. My family is my most important thing in life. I have a 22-year-old girl and a 21-year-old boy and I also have custody of their niece in our home, family home and she's eight. Tawny Town is an important part of our family. I've raised my children here and this will always be their hometown. When I got the opportunity to move here, I thought of being closer to my family in Frederick and Carroll County. I thought of moving further away from the city and into a small town would be safer for my family. Carroll County has been ranked third safest county in Maryland, and Tawny Town is also on the list of safest places to live in Maryland. We are in a very diverse district from 140 to Baltimore, 194 to Frederick and DC in Virginia, and yet minutes away from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This area is rich in history and national parks, which is great for raising a family. And I heard my family describe on how Tawny Town had a skating rink and a movie theater. And I'd like to have more here for our families to enjoy. I don't like that Tawny Town has been labeled a high intense drug trafficking area and we shouldn't invite drugs of any form into our town just because other states have lifted restrictions and licenses to grow and distribute have been approved. We don't fight drug overdoses with more drugs. I am supporting Tawny Town's no cost first addiction treatment center called Sober Truth. People don't choose to be addicted to something and someone that cares might just be enough to the road to recovery. I've been talking to a lot of people on their front porch. They're saying, help us, help us get government out of here and let us make some money because it's gotten really hard to pay our bills. In particular, the water bill. I propose to cut the sewer rate 50%. It should be equal to the water and not doubled, but it will take three votes to accomplish that, which is also supported by Catherine Adelaide. I started thinking about what I can do to change this. Well, 70% of our jobs are created by small businesses of 20 employees or less. Yet uninviting rundown buildings and restrictions with a lot of red tape limit and a small town to have and keep businesses thriving. If we don't make changes now, we will be more dependent on the government. I don't want my kids asking, why wasn't anyone standing up for their, what is right? We need to allow our citizens to enjoy the benefits of freedom, fighting for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. When our town is flourishing, our families have a better quality of life. I'm looking out for my kids' future, and I hope you will as well. So on May 1st, I'm asking you to vote for Rhonda Kritzings and Katherine Adelaide. Thank you, and God bless you and your family, and God bless America.